As a country, I think one of our favorite things that we love eating is a smoked fish. I guess the ones that I love to smoke the most are ones that have quite oily flesh. And there's a fish out there that is really nicknamed or is, is called the, the people's fish. And that is our beautiful and our beloved kahawai. They're a strong fighting fish. They're a beautiful looking fish. And some people think they're only good for smoking. Believe me, they're beautiful fresh. They're wonderful raw. But as a smoked fish, probably there's not a better fish in the country. So I'm going to show you how to smoke a kawai. So I've butterflied this kawai. I've essentially taken the centre frame out of the fish. You know, lots of people have got different ways they like to do it. Some people use soy sauce, some people use maple. Essentially, you're just using some salt of some sort, which helps the cure, and some form of sweetness, which sort of balances out the, um, I guess, the bitterness and the smoke when you're actually smoking it. And all I do is a liberal amount of salt and a liberal amount of brown sugar. And it looks like quite a lot, but a lot of it actually sort of melts and goes away from the fish. But you really want that balance of, I guess, sweet, salty, and the bitterness from the smoke. And that's what makes it so such a wonderful flavour. I normally leave my car wire to, to sit for about half an hour and let that sort of that cure do its stuff. The, the sugar will melt uh, and the salt will um, dissipate into the flesh. A little portable smoker that I've had for must be at least 20 years. And what I do is I just line the, the bottom with foil, take my wood chips. I mean, there's all sorts of different chips that you can use. I grew up with Manuka, and that's exactly what I still use today. Then I like to just get a little bit of water and just wet those chips, which slows down the smoke process a little bit so they don't burn as quickly. And then obviously what goes on top of there is my grate, which my fish is going to sit on. So a little tip that I like to do is I just oil it. So the fish is not just smoking, it's actually cooking as well. It helps um, ease the fish off the rack at the end, it's not going to stick. So I've got my kahawai. This has been sitting for about 20 minutes. Some people don't let it sit and cure, but I like to do that. It seems to work better for me. I think you get better colour and it sort of firms up the flesh a little bit more. And then it's just going to go skin side down straight onto my rack. I'm going to light my methylated spirits, which is my Heat sauce, best to smoke outdoors somewhere, but nowhere near any sort of dry um, brush or anything like that. Always sort of think about where you're smoking. This is a lovely portable smoker. I'm just doing this on the stove top. I've got extraction and it's, uh, it works perfectly. So lid on. That's probably be about 20 minutes. Oh, I never get tired of that. It's like the reveal. And you know, one of the things I see that it's, it's sort of curled up, so there's quite a bit of heat there, but it's also a sign of a very, very fresh fish. Uh, but this looks absolutely magnificent, and I just sort of delve in here, and look how moist. All the fish in, in the sea, if you know how to cook them, and know how to get the best out of them, the eating proposition, or the value proposition of all of them, is exactly the same. That is a kawai which tastes as good as a snapper, which tastes as good as a turbot, which tastes as good as a trevally. They're all wonderful fish. But that is absolutely moist and delicious.